Get our shots away with conviction. Yeah? Keep chasing that foul. Good, PK. Go on then. Have a shot. Have a shot. Go on then. Gets a bit of space, but PK Humble was there. Does enough. Still in the box though, and he's We've gone got down. Back and no time to lag. Up the tags. Yes, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Hashtag United match video. Today we are up against Hastings. Um, same abbreviation as us, HTU. So I'm sure I'm going to figure that one out in the match graphics, as you're going to see later on in this video. But let's get straight into the news. First of all, a massive congratulations to Ted Kurd, who has again gone away on international duty for England because he is taking part in the under-17s World Cup, which is absolutely bonkers, Eddie. Yeah, absolutely mental, but we're not surprised. Look at the quality of the saves and, the, and his performances, man. Honestly, congratulations, Ted, once again. Um, but obviously that leaves us without a keeper with the departure of James Philp. But don't worry, we have got reinforcements in. Reinforcements by the name of Joshua Strizovic. Yeah, he's played for Dagenham and Redbridge. He's also played in this league before. He's come to us on loan. But in this league, he's played for, I believe, Folkestone in the past. So he definitely knows the level. Uh, he plays a level above. So again, hopefully uh, we don't miss Ted too much. Obviously, we welcome him back once he's done on international duty. But um, yeah, in the meantime, I think we're in safe hands. So we'll look forward to seeing him in action. If you take a look at the league table, you can see Hastings in 11th place, hashtag in 12th position. Hastings' last win in their last six was against Margate, which is the last game they played. So um, obviously, although they haven't won as many games in the last six, they have come off the back of a win. So we can't underestimate our opponents by any shape or form. But I do know, Eddie, we're obviously going to want to redeem ourselves from last week, right? Yeah, that was a bit of a tough day at the office for the Tags, but fingers crossed we can start turning some draws and obviously bounce back, but start turning those draws that we have had recently into three points. Let's go, man. Another thing as well about Hastings, they have got the Hashtag Academy Season 1 superstar, Adam Lovett, playing for them today. Now, if you guys are clued up here on the old Hashtag content, you all know I played with that man what it must have been seven years ago now seven my gosh i was a baby <laughs> i don't know if i'm even going to recognize him i'm going to try and overlay some footage of him on the screen he is playing today for hastings so it should be a good show out let's see what he can do against the tags hopefully not too much though and stamps talking of quality on the pitch next week our opponents horsham played last night in the fa cup and drew 3-3 with league one team barnsley what a performance the magic of the fa cup man that's exactly what i was going to say eddie obviously um because it was a draw it means their replay will be played a couple of days after we are supposed to play them so the league might actually let them reschedule our fixture which means we might not play them next week but we will let you know but in the meantime back to business today let's hear from devs them i'm not going to talk about because today is all about us and a reaction from last week i want us to play with a tempo a pace a desire I want us to, when we have to defend, I want us to defend like our lives depend on it. And when we attack, we go forward with purpose, with energy and with conviction. Uh, and we do ourselves, I'm almost at a point where this is almost to go, well, can it get any worse than last week? Can it get any worse? And I hope not, right? And I don't want it ever to be even get as bad as that. So we owe ourselves and we go out and everything we do today is with high energy and enthusiasm. Joe, let's go. Come on. So today's tags then. In goal, the new boy, Joshua Strizovic, who joins us on loan from Dagenham and Redbridge whilst Ted is on international duty. Matt Waldridge and Nathan Smith keep their place in the fullback positions. Tom Anderson replaces Greg Halford at the back with Harry Haysom. Max Cornhill, the captain, comes back into the side with PK Humble in the middle. Misha Jamali, the man in form at the moment with three goals in the last month, is in the midfield as well with Saka San, Pedro Carvalho and Alfie Q up top. On the bench then, that leaves Camilla Restrepo, Sam Cornish, Alex Teniola, Greg Halford and Nigel Aris. Other tags. And we are underway here then. Hastings in the white shirts getting us playing and it's gone all the way to Player of the Month nominee Nathan Smith who heads it back. Massive clearance already, by the way. Look at that. And Harry Hasem putting his noggin on it. Gets a little knock for his troubles, but he's back on his feet. Are you uh, you surprised by the six changes from Devs? Obviously, the first one we're not surprised about is Ted, but the other five? No, I'm not surprised because six goals conceded <laughs> equals six changes. That's actually quite good from you. It's yeah. the mathematics. 
and the uh, the players to keep their spot, the three player of the month um, nominees and PK. Nice, good overlap there by Sack and Nathan. Great ball by the way, oh what my gosh, save. what a save. That was Max Cornhill there who got his head on the end of that Nathan Smith cross and we know he practices those crosses a lot. And that delivery there was absolutely inch perfect. Max Cornhill, great effort, what a save Eddie. Oh my f hell, H love it. Ching him, ching him, do him, ching him. Oh, good delivery, but oh, it's a good win from Sack as well. That delivery not as direct, kind of just floated that one in. It. Yeah, I think it took a deflection as well, but Nathan Smith has it out wide and now Sack and PK may look to deliver because there's bodies in the box, you know, or have a go. Or just shoot. Have you a go. I won't be mad at Don't it. Don't mind no. it. It's not a bad effort, you know. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Sack with a nice Nathan. Pass. Oh, not a great touch, but he still holds his possession. Just keeping hold of it. Sets it into Misha. Out wide again to Sack. Nice interplay. Sack's done nice. well there. Into a Go good, on, good area. Into the box. Oh, Unlucky. but he's tackled. It's nice a very well-timed challenge, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, well that's... Well done, that, that is the worst dive I've seen all season. PK looking for Pedro. Oh God, what perfect. a knock. Now do him. Just get a shot off. Cuts oh, it back. back. Oh, is he's gone down. Penalty? Well, he's gone down asking for a pen. If I'm completely oh. honest, I thought it was a good tackle, but I may yeah. be wrong. We haven't seen a replay there, Stamps. Mm. I thought he got the ball. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell, like, from the way the ball moved there, it kind of popped up. It does kind of tell you that the defender did get something on it. And although Mish was on the floor appealing for it, there wasn't a whole load of noise from the hashtag yeah, squad. So it pretty does quiet, wasn't of, it? Yeah, it kind of makes my mind up for me, to be honest. Tell you what, though. Let's talk about that PK humble pass to Pedro, though. Oh, my Which word. The cutback was lovely and as again, well. Oh, go on, Alfie, He goes through. Have a shot. What a tackle. That is some really unbelievable defending. The tackle there. Nick the ball off of Alfie and into the goalkeeper's hands. But the high press stance, we spoke about it briefly. It's, it's working. Yeah. and Just got to be careful on the break. Got to shout out Alfie Q there as well, to be fair to him been called into action quite a few times in this first half already and a lot of room for Walters to have a go first bit of action for Joshua Strzovic in goal gosh there's highlights left right and centre and I've completely forgotten I need to message log. Adam to <laughs> log. and Joshua Strzovic with his left foot there getting some distance on that it's Misha Jamali up though can Alfie get there he can't and Hastings neither team really to be honest Settling on possession for the most part, but it's out wide here then. Getting Two into the box, one. Matty with some defending to do. He's cut back. I think that Matty's kept that one on. And it's a dangerous area all Don't the way back. Shoot. And the oh shot. God. Didn't quite get it right. And the swerve on it takes it away from Strizzing goal. I need value. What Shayo. on earth? <laughs> That's a lovely knock. And Pedro brings that one down nicely. Looking nice. for the one two with me, shot. Just couldn't nice. quite turn, but. Man on behind you. Stay out so you can get it. Stay so you can get it. Good turn, turn. Alfie! Alfie! Seen a lot of possession, as is this man, Sakasan. Why is Dev screaming like that? And it's a lovely knock in towards Max Cornhill. <laughs> oh my word, the build up play is sensational at the moment. The cross was almost inch perfect. I think Max just needed a little bit on it, Stamps. Again, man, it's gone straight to the keeper's hands. We're making it too easy for them, and that's why they look good. <laughs> it's easy to save it when the ball comes straight at you. But yeah, unlucky, Max. We go again. He's, he's, I think he's going to get his first uh, goal of the season this game. I'm going to go out there and say it. Striz on the ball and looks to find a, a pass. <laughs> he has, to be fair. Knuckleballers. Alfie and Max between them managed to keep possession here, and it goes out wide to Sack, who's had the better of... This man again, again. all game so far, and he's looking very lively, much more like the sack that we've come to know and appreciate. And here's Tomo. He's Go gone on, for I a strike. You, you know what? You. It's not a million miles off, is it? Here we go again, Eddie. Rocket throw. Boom. Oose. Punch. Come to punch. Oh, he's pushed. That's a foul, no? Well, it's not been given stamps, and that long ball causing problems in the box. Striz wow. came, tried to punch, and it's landed, I think, with Jason Frazen at the uh, at the back. You have to say, Eddie, that is, for me, taking my blue and yellow hashtag glasses, as you guys call them, off for just a second. That is completely against the run of play. And I also think as well, there was a little bit of a foul on Matty Waldridge. 
I'm not sure. I might have to see it again when I'm editing. But yeah, it looked like he kind of pushed him over as he was challenging for the ball. Referee deemed it as a fair challenge. But yeah, I mean, guess now we've got some serious work to do. Because we've had all the chances, right? And it is deflating when the other team go ahead and score. How the f*** could we lose in this game? Harry Hayson with a long ball. It might run all the way to Pedro. What a flick. Oh my God. That was absolutely insane. Eddie was I missed too it. busy I missed trying it. to tweet. That flick from Pedro Carvalho, yeah. I swear. And he's meant that as well. I oh my you, word. I promise you he's meant that. Oh that is absolutely word. outrageous. He's set it in the most perfect path for Misha Jamali to run on. And I think that's another weak foot finish from the it lad is. as well, by the yeah. way. He's just, I think, what is he, our top goal scorer right now? He is with five Misha outright Jemaili. on his own top goal Misha scorer. Misha Jamali take a bow. I didn't. That was a fantastic team goal. And that, Eddie, is how you bounce back. What a finish on his right foot. And unbelievable touch from Pedro. They give up because Alfie misses it. They don't know Pedro's there. Now can the boys turn it on then? Oh, lovely. Sumptuous flick from PK. Pedro. Looking for the ball in behind. Shut up. It's a nice Shut area up. about Alfie. Oh. I'll tell you what, that would have been better than the goal, wouldn't it? He's what got to a take strike. a touch there, I think, but he saw his name <laughs> in lights there. Unlucky from Alfie. Right then, free kick in a very dangerous area for Hastings. He takes a shot, comes off the wall. Nathan Smith. Oh, Nathan Smith just got anything to that. It actually ended up almost setting up the Hastings player for an easy tap in. But I think some good defending there from one of the boys. Managed to just throw him off guard and he scuffed the effort wide. That was very close. We've almost seen three goals here in like five minutes. Mental. Well done, Sack. Well done, Nath. Well done, Mish. Unlucky. Keep chasing, don't foul. Good, PK. Go on then. Have a shot. Have a shot. Go on then. Oh. Flashes wide of that right post. But PK, fantastic pressure in the midfield. As he leaves, the longer he leaves it, the more doubt comes into his mind. It's he in terms of shift. Like, it, 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 so he's getting on to it. Yeah. Long ball. Matthew. Yes, Matthew. Matty. Just take a touch, Pedro. Okay. No, he, did, he doesn't need to. Oh, lovely. Ignore you, Stamps. Max is so good at that round the corner pass. It always has the perfect match. Not just pass element. as well, shots. Look at that cross. Pedro. Oh, oh my God. Still he's there, going out, Alfie. Alfie. Just didn't quite. Wow. It was good defending to hold it, albeit couldn't clear it, but managed to. To hold Alfie back, if I can speak. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Long ball. I think PK's underneath it. Gives a big shove in the back. Nothing doing, though. And a foot in the box with Matty Waldridge for company. Holds on to the ball. Sets it back to Lovett. Now a foot. Right footed. Looking to cut in on that right. He does. Gets a bit of space, but PK Humble was there. Got does enough. There. Still in the box though, and he's Never. gone down. That should be a dive then. That Ray. was as theatrical as it gets, and for me it's a booking, but they still come forward with it. Moynes looks for leg to try and flick that one in, and Striz collects. Stamby, now, for me, that's a foul, no? The theatrics they involved in yeah, that. They shouldn't even be able to have a second opportunity there to try and score, because he's dived. A simulation. How do we not get a foul for that? We end up defending the shot. And it's Misha Jamali to whip this one in. It's into Great a decent win. area. Should it's not away. Max Cornhill. Oh, and I indeed. think the shot was blocked off the line almost. A really how, good chance though. How unlucky is Max Cornhill going to get? I told you he's going to score in this game. It's just a case of when. You might have jinxed him. My goodness <laughs> me. How Was that a leg they got to that to block it? It was indeed. The reaction time was unreal. Like a ninja. It's not away. Sack Hassan into a great area. Tomo was there. Not cleared. But Hastings have possession and now it is cleared. And that may just be the last half, the chance of the half. That is half time then. 1-1 one, one, the score at the break. Tags will be the happier of the two, but not happy to be level because they probably deserve to be in front. Let's hear what Devs has to say at half time. It's been good and we should be winning the game, but it's the boring story that we're getting week in, week out about coulda, woulda, shoulda. Right? And that's about us being, he said it before the game, but not being too nice. Get our shots away with conviction. Yeah? I think our reaction time, when we've lost the ball, we've won it back early a lot. And that's 
credit to you, especially in the midfield. You've got to carry on doing that because they're the definition of nice. They want all the time in the world and don't want to be put under pressure. So keep ratting around them. Go and be positive with the press. Even like rat right up, get higher because that one where they play it into the midfielder that's got his back to it, that's the one where we can go and win it. We need to get three points today for us. There's no other else for us. Let's go and put three points on the ball and that's going to need complete concentration, effort, desire, work rate and be clinical. Hey, come on. Stop being nice. And we're back underway for the second half. Hashtag United versus Hastings United. Big inspirational team talk from Devs, by the way. Yeah. I, I was talk gassed. To me. Talk to me. I'm ready to go, you know. He said, yo, let's score some effing goals. So let's do it then, shall we, Eddie? Uh, it's the substitute then. On the ball, Bangura. Some name, by the way. What? Very tall. Bangura. Ibrahim Bangura. Here's a Fua down this left hand side. Burnt Matty gets a cross into a really good area. What? And it's just too easy, Stamps. And he's the done ball a comes back in. flip to celebrate. What the hell? That I don't even know what to say about that play, to be totally honest. Um, the defender on that cross there, it just looked like no one was alive to it. I thought maybe it had gone off or something, but yeah, the Hastings man, the only player in that play to be alive and alert to it and he's put it in the back of the net. It's literally a simple tapping. So oh, easy. Couple of shirts being tugged and some off the ball antics at the moment. Oh, oh my no. word, Tomo's giving it away here and Moynes comes forward with it now in a good area but a good terrible side. effort and it's a very, very calm one for Striz to collect. I don't like this throw in and I also don't like how dark it's getting so fast Ref. recently. Well up, Max. Here's Sack. Should have got a shout. Didn't. And the shot comes back in. It's an easy one. And Stris can see that one over. Alfie Q collects. Finds Sakasan, The man that's looked most dangerous, I think, for the tags. Is in this game. Oh, and he's found Nathan pass. Smith. Goes for the oh, shot. And he's, it looked like he hit it with his weak foot snaps, really, didn't it? It did. He just scuffed it. I think what he was trying to do is drive it Roof also the net. with the laces but it's kind of scuffed off the top of his foot and he's just got too much height on it instead that's a foul throw all day long ref paying attention man it's the goal scorer or one of the goal scorers to the substitute who's looked for that switch to mad switch by the way the man that got the assist and it's a lovely couple of touches but Matty Waldridge defends that superbly and puts the ball into an area for Alfie Q to chase it skips it skips and it skipped really well what can Alfie do here? He's gone hey! down, and I think that's a penalty inside the box. Well, I think he's is gonna, it just outside? He's going to say free kick, isn't he? Well, he's going to have to have a word. Can Misha shoot here, Eddie, is my question. Well, he can do, but he's going to lay it to Pedro Carvalho. It's still there, and oh, oh again, oh Alfie Q God. sees his shot blocked, but that was destined for the bottom corner stamps. A really nice move, though. Yeah, very, very deceptive. Um, the Hastings players were scrambling there and you could tell from that last ditch challenge to, to get that block in from Alfie Q. They were panicking there. How have we not scored? I just can't get, I can't get my head around it. Nathan Smith to take. Short, Sakasan gets it back then. Nathan looks for the cross. It's into a, a really ball. good area and there's really Alfie Q, but I think that's a hashtag corner ball. I, I think could have sworn that hit, that hit the uh, defender. I think it hit the defender, then it hit Alfie and then it went that way. Bangura wins that head up. Nathan. Sack with a lovely ball into Max Cornhill. Sam Cornish. This is a lovely move. What can Sack do? Finds Nathan Smith out on the left. Looks to cut in. Maybe takes a touch too many. And the opportunity's gone. Sack looks the round the line for Nathan Smith, who keeps oh, it in. That's not real. still in. Oh, oh, but the cross was left oh. wanting. I think Sack was on there for the set from Nathan Smith who's been so good for us this season wow. Stamps but in that final third there just the wrong decision it's frustrating because this game as a whole has really been there for the taking Stamps isn't it 100% especially in that first half the amount of like freedom and chances we had and what we created now it's become more of a, a cagey affair rather than an open one although hashtag I've got a chance now it's a great ball across but it's too far for anybody to get on the end of 
Hastings with plenty of energy it seems it's just bopping the ball around nicely and keeping possession cuts inside Banga good football the way the way he plays reminds you of a inform Ayo Adeboyo he slipped there now we Adebayo. can capitalise with Nigel look at that fresh burst of pace good delivery then please left foot chopped across the box Max Cornell cuts across comes to AT oh he just got it all wrong it's still on though no Nigel's offside just got the connection all wrong stamps yeah. but a really really quick break nice cutback from Nigel and the shot from Max he's got it horribly wrong didn't he AT managed to keep it alive but again his effort sliced just as poorly yeah, it's, hard, it's harder for Max there because obviously he's first time, but then AT as well, it's on his left foot. He's had to just take a swing at it. They're not easy the chances, best, I will say. Not easy chances. Yeah. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. It's going to be a yellow for Granger for time wasting. Not surprised. I thought that might come out at some point. Out just wide. Delivery. Just need a delivery. Six minutes of added time here at the Len Salmon. Plenty of time for the boys to get a late level up and they would more than deserve it. And here is Nathan Smith, Misha Jamali. Can he whip a ball in? He's won a corner. Interesting here, we're going with an outswinger with Misha on this one over on the left-hand side. But Taniola time, here it is. It's bouncing. Still there, Sam Cornish opts to go out wide Smart rather than shoot. Misha Jamali. To whip that one into a really good area. Oh. Cleared away. It's going to be a substitute for Hastings as they look to wind down the clock. But for now, hashtag in possession. But in our own half as Sam sends that one long. It's a great knock to Alex Teniola. Brings it down on his chest. It's still there. Looks to cross it. Oh. And it's there for, oh, for both Max Cornu and Alfie Q. Oh. But neither of them could convert the chance and it didn't quite sit for either of them did it Stamps? You have to say uh, fair play to Alex Teniola there obviously we saw the weak footed effort a couple of minutes ago and that one there he's done so well with his stronger foot there to hook it back put it into a very dangerous area Max Cornhill had a go at it missed it and Alfie Q with the kind of scorpion kick attempt it was close it was close it just hasn't quite dropped for us today Eddie and it's a shame does that go at Tomo if he misses it? I think behind him as well. Yeah. Touch, to touch and deliver. And deliver goes down the line. Moines can't quite win it off Nathan, who goes into the box, into a good area. Oh. Alex Teniola is underneath it, but he couldn't quite get there. And here is Matty Waldridge. Goes out wide. Ref, but it's nicked ref, back. It. And there's not enough time. Oh, the, he's final the final whistle blows. Whistle. Stampy defeat here at the Len Salmon. And it's a disappointing one because it was a game that was there for the taking. I'm going to ask you for your UFL player of the match, though, stuff. I know we lost the game, but I'm going to give it to Misha Jamali, you know, because um, I feel like he played very well. Obviously, got got the goal for us as well. I have to shout out all of the boys. We just couldn't find that finishing touch. But unfortunately, Eddie, um, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. But obviously, that means the home run um, that we that we've obviously accumulated over what I believe over a year now. Um, not losing at home in the league, that's now done. It's time to rebuild. As you can see, obviously uh, still in that bottom half of the table, but if you look at the league table in its entirety, uh, it's very, very close. Like a, a win or two can put you four or five places up and the same if you lose a couple, but we will bounce back. We appreciate all of your support as usual. Uh, make sure you drop a like and also uh, head over to the hashtag and add extra channel to watch the post-match interview. Um, yeah, it's been Stamps and Eddie. Up the tags, we will bounce back.